Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Raluca. In today's video I'm going to show you how I did this soft smoky eye look. It's also very beginner friendly, I only used two shadows and if you want to see how I did it then just keep on watching. Most of my videos are focused on eye makeup but I feel like including face makeup every once in a while so uh, I'm going to start with my face since the eye look is going to be pretty soft and simple. I already have my face moisturized, I'm going to go straight into foundation and I'm going to use my Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation in the shade 40. Okay, I'm going to use my damp sponge to blend this in. Just bouncing the sponge, not really dragging around. I have a weird order of doing stuff, so next I'm going to do my brows using the ABH Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. I'm going to take some on my brush, this is a Makeup Addiction small angle brush. Okay, let's just brush them up a little bit. I usually draw one or two hair strokes in the front and then fill in the outer half, starting from the bottom of my brow then filling in the tail and the arch I took a little bit more product to really fill in the tail and then with whatever is left on my brush I'm just going to fill in and then brushing them after filling in I'm setting them in place using the ABH clear brow gel I'm sorry but this is shitty, like this doesn't do almost anything but my brows are laminated so it works. <laughs> the Benefit Clear Brow Setter is far superior in my opinion. Like I'm trying to go through it um, for as long as my brows are laminated because uh, after that I just, it will be useless. <laughs> Okay, time for concealer. First I'm going to correct my other eyes. I use the Maybelline uh, Age Rewind in the shade Brightener and then topping it with the neutralizer shade from the same uh, Age Rewind range. And I'll highlight the center of my face as well and just stamping. And with whatever is left on the sponge I'm going to blend on my eyelids. What if I tweeze this off? This is so annoying. Okay, I'm going to take my powder on a blending brush, an eye blending brush. Let's see, first I'm going to make sure there are no creases on my under eyes. And then I'm going to quickly set the concealer in place. I'm going to use this brush to set all the key areas in place. It's not like all my powder brushes are dirty or anything. So I'm just setting on the center. I have a little explosion here, I don't know why. I have a lot of uh, little pimples. Next I will apply a little bit of my Dior Nude Bronzer. And I'll bronze up my cheek. Like basically the just the parameter of my face. This happens a little bit on the tip of my nose, just to warm it up a little bit. What I like to do when I'm doing a soft neutral eye look is I bronze here, like basically in this temple area to connect the eyeshadow to the bronzer and it also helps lifting up the other corner a little bit. For blush I want something soft and pink and uh, I'm going to use this Sigma blush cheek palette and uh, I'm going to mix these two shades this is again a brush from Morphe it's the only one that I have available in cream and I'm stamping this oh it's so cute <laughs> I'm stamping this uh, above the bronzer basically and keeping it on the sides of my face I think for highlighter you know by now which one I'm going to use. The e.l.f. baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And this is the prettiest highlighter that I've ever tried. And on my skin tone it works absolutely amazing. I'm going to use a night blending brush again. 
and I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones. Like, look how natural this looks on my cupid's bow, chin, tip of my nose, bridge of the nose. Basically, um, concentrating it on uh, in between my brows and a little bit above my brows. I'm going to set the face makeup in place using this uh, setting spray by Catrice. I will apply the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion on my eyelids to prep for eyeshadow. For today's eye look, I'm going to use the new Colourpop Quad in the shade Sorbet. I love this one, it's so pretty. And uh, I'm going to start with this uh, light matte shade. And I'm going to take it on a Juvia Space 006 blending brush. Dust up the excess. And I'm going to blend this all over my eyelids. Starting from the outer corner so I can have the most intensity there. And then moving my way towards my inner corner. And make sure that you apply the shade evenly, especially on your lash line, so you can see a color difference there. And then I'm blending it into my crease. I'm taking some more and dusting it on the lower lash line as well. And I'm going to extend it a little bit towards my other corner into that bronzer that I applied on my temples. I'm going to take a dense brush like this one. This, uh, this is again from Morphe, it has no number. And I'm going to take this darkest shade of the palette, dusting up the excess, and I'm applying it close to my lash line first. And then blending it upwards on my entire lid. And also on my other corner. And with my previous brush, I'm going to blend it. And extend it again towards my other corner. And I'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. Applying it really close to my uh, lash line. And then blending. Next I'm taking a Sephora Collection uh, brown eye pencil and uh, I'm going to apply this on my waterline. Also underneath my lashes. And with that dense brush that I used previously, I'm going to um, blend it. And I'm applying a tiny amount on my uh, lash line just to intensify the lash line a little bit and again smudging it so the end result is going to be smokier <laughs> and uh, yeah really well blended and by the way I intended to do this look a little bit uh, softer than I actually did so yeah this is just what came out <laughs> next I will curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara And a little bit on my lower lashes. I will highlight my inner corner and my brow bone using this light shimmer from the palette on a Morphe M124 brush. To line my lips, I'm going to use this Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade Curious. It's a beautiful pinkish nude. I will overline in the center of my lips. As lipstick, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Rouge Artist in the shade 164 Sassy Rhubarb. It looks something like this. And since I have about 5 minutes left to do my makeup, I will apply some outer corner lashes as well. <laughs> Lash glue. I'm running out of it. Waiting for the lash glue to dry a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough. 
I'm going to apply this on my outer corner. And this is the look all complete. I really hope you like how it came out. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm going to go to work right now. I hope you're having an amazing day or evening and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!